I am a practicing registered nurse. I am a certified operating nurse. I am a certified RN first assistant. I am a trauma nurse course certified and wound care certified. Um, yes. Uh, so what are you about to do today? Well, we're, my, uh, my partner and I, John, uh, John Mark International, my partner is Mark Lowenstein. We are starting the first, as far as we know, a standardization set up of the back table for students who would, who would go from technician to hospital and in a safer, faster, more efficient manner, which would mean cost efficiency for the hospitals. Uh, so what's the reason for all this? The reason is because of malpractice and poor patient outcomes. We, we've done an, uh, an official and unofficial study and all indicators prove that there is a need for this. Hmm. So probably uh, when the viewers see what you're talking about, they'll be able to understand properly. So um, do you mind if we move to the table so that you could help enlighten us uh, what you mean by malpractice and um, you know trying to create a standard um, in the system right now? Absolutely. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So basically, the, the, there are hundreds if not thousands of surgical instruments that a surgical tech must know. It's almost overwhelming when you first get into it if you're, if you're a non-medical person. However, current practice shows that uh, all the nursing organizations they encourage the operating room technician to say, to set up their back, what we call, this is a back table, and this, um, the organization tell you, set up in a neat, orderly fashion, which is fine. However, if for the tech student, and even in practice, they go from here to the hospital, the, the hospital say, set up a neat, orderly fashion, organizations say set up a neat orderly fashion the technician the technology school say set up a neat orderly fashion but they don't tell them how to standardize it so when they get to real practice the hospital says we have to do it our way the the technician then you get assigned to a practice group technician who says I need to do it my way and then you get to a different doctor who says you're going to do it this way when they're working different procedures. So what we're trying to do, what the company is trying to do, what John Mark International is trying to do, is make it simple, fast, easy, and efficient. And that equals good patient outcomes. By simply, I'll show you in a second, you'll see how the, the standardization of the back table saves money, saves time, and in the, win, and in the end, everybody has a win-win-win situation. So currently, this is what you get when you get a back table, <coughs> excuse me, back table drink. This is what you get. So that's why it's kind of like a free for all. It is a free for all. And Altamont School realizes that. However, what we've done at John Mark International, we have standardized that for you. So your trays go here. Your sponges go here, your basins go here, and your sharps, which would mean your knife blades, your syringes, your sutures, would all go here. Your trays, almost any procedure has two to three, sometimes four trays. It's mapped out for you. So that's the whole concept. If you go to a hospital, just as an example, if you ask somebody to set up the current practicing technicians, if you would ask them to set up a bowel resection, just as a, an example, some would put their trays right in the middle of the tray, right in the middle of the back table. Some will start left to right. Some will start right to left. It's kind of free for all, and that's the problem. That's why instruments get lost. That's why uh, things get left in patients. That's why people get stuck with sharp objects, which is really a major impact in healthcare because it costs money when somebody gets stuck for the obvious reasons of hepatitis, AIDS, and so forth if it's not standardized. And that's what we want to do because when you, do, when you have a free-for-all setup, that's what happens. Our documentation of, the documentation of malpractice uh, lawsuits against hospitals will show that. Uh, it's, it's very much a need to standardize 
and what we're trying to do is begin the standardization process. So over here, uh, the only, the only uh, difference I would, uh, I would add to this is that usually we, with standardization we would have a ring stand, but still during the surgical procedure, anybody, the circulator could come back, could take a quick glance and know where things are at. The surgeon, even anesthesiologist, who's usually furthest away from the patient, could take a look and say, hey, we're, we're missing something here. The scrub tech who is responsible for running the back table could say, hey, we got something here. And more importantly, you know, or just as important, when a scrub tech comes in to relieve the scrub person, they know where things are at. The count, they don't have to look for sharps. They don't have to look for sponges. They know what trays are in, they know what instruments are in the tray. And that's the whole purpose. And uh, if you get relieved, counting process is straightforward. You don't have to look in the middle. You don't have to look right to left or somebody else has set up. I would be a very rich man if I had half a penny, but when you, when you hire somebody new, they say, do you know how to, how to scrub this procedure? They will say, yes, but I have to do it my way. And that's the problem. Their way might work for them, for that individual, but it's not standardized. And that's another part of the problem. So standardization is at its best. So this gives room for accountability. Absolutely. Mm. Wow. Well, thank you so much. OK, thank you. My pleasure. And thank you uh, again for uh, Altamont Healthcare for allowing us to present this opportunity to the public. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Altamont Healthcare on YouTube today.